come, buddy. There he goes. The pace truck makes its way onto pit road. Field in the hands of Ben Kennedy, great grandson of the founder of NASCAR. Green flag in the air. We're underway. Failure, Deegan. <laughs> ben Kennedy gets the jump on the run order today and pulls to the bottom, just like you expected would happen. As you mentioned, Michael, these guys really hog the double yellow line. Remember, below the double yellow line, if you advance your position, is out of bounds. Most of the time we see these guys try to get right down there and stick it all the way around. They're not allowed to push. If they push, they're black flag. They can bump draft. They just can't lock bumpers and push. Hey, that whole thing I said about the first 100 miles, that's off the window already. They're, they're, they're three wide in the back. Matt Crafton has proven that outside line can indeed push up like we heard some of the drivers talking about after practice. This is going to be a great battle tonight. Two and three wide, coming out of turn number four for lap number one. In front of the field, it's Ben Kennedy. Matt Crafton, your defending series title winner, is working the outside line, holding out a second. How about his great-grandfather dreamed of this track, built it, and Ben Kennedy just let his first lap here. That's amazing for that family. Great job, Ben. Ron Hornaday made the comment earlier today, hey, I'll stay on this guy's back bumper and we'll work together. He said a second-place finish to start off the 2014 season would be great. He's, he's going to plan on camping right there, he said. But uh, things change. We talked about in the pre-race. You don't really need a plan to win this race because you better have the ability to change your plan as the race rolls along. Just behind Ryan Blaney in the 29, we're riding along with Joey Coulter. Coulter running back in the fifth spot. He's on the inside line. Man, that's a beautiful sight. Look at those trucks screaming toward the start-finish line. It looks like right now that the outside line is about a truck length slower a lap than the inside line. The drivers, the drivers talked about side drafting also, though. They're trying to work that outside line, trying to get as close as they can to that inside line. There's my 2014 championship pick, Bubba Wallace. You know, Phil, you talk about losing a little ground on the outside. If they really want to do that side drafting, duck over to the inside and try to slow the momentum of the inside truck. There you see John West Townley giving a little bump to Matt Crafton. Look at the ground they gained. Looks like you gained almost a truck length from that little bump. That was textbook. They said you can bump. That's just what JWT did, and he pushed Matt Crafton ahead. They were able to gain a spot now as they work their way out of four into the tri-oval. It's three wide. The Armand Carroba jumped to the outside on the back stretch on lap number one, and that's where he stayed on the outside of the three wide situation from the very start. Speed upwards of 190 miles an hour this pack. Take a look at the bump that John West Townley on the outside line gives to the 88 of Matt Crafton. Bam. Right there. Right there. And look at the momentum it gave Matt Crafton. That's a perfect job by John West. Now you just can't get carried away, Phil. It's going to feel so good. Look at the ground we made. I want to do it again. And you just have to disengage. That's the rule. NASCAR said you can bump, but you can't push. And these guys will be really challenged about having the discipline it takes not to push. And we've seen in the past that bumping goes completely awry with these trucks because the bumpers really don't line up that well. The outside line has Matt Crafton in front, John West Townley, and then the 92 of Ross Chastain. He's third in line on the outside. It shouldn't be going any better for Ben Kennedy right now. He's got a comfortable couple of truck length lead. Ron Hornaday, his teammate, and no knows that's his ally right behind him. They're just up there calmly clicking away some laps. Yeah, right now, 36 trucks within two and a half seconds of each other. That's